Alright guys, Mr. G back with another two minute game review and today we're looking at Despot's Game. You're going, what is Despot's Game? It's a tiny pixel art roguelike game where you're awarded a bunch of puny humans which you throw into a meat grinder which is the Despot's Game. It's essentially a dungeon going deeper and deeper with different dungeon encounters in each room and you're going to either get different unlocks whether it's a store whether it's new units whether it's new skills or new mutations depending on what you run into in each node of the dungeon and yes it's got 80s vintage chiptune music you're going to have your head bopping or you're going to be turning it off right away you're also going to have goofy random encounters with cheesy funny random writing You've got teleporters, you've got maps. It's like any good roguelike, you're gonna have to figure out your best way through the procedurally generated map. You're gonna have goofy scenarios where you're gonna be like, should I throw five of my guys in here to maybe get some more coins? Or should we just turn around and leave? It's gonna give you those kind of scenarios. You're not often gonna know which choice is gonna award you with which reward. So there's a fair bit of RNG and it's pretty punishing. But when you're lucky, you'll get it further down. Also, the writing, I gotta say, is pretty funny in that they're making fun of both Steam and Epic. There are a lot of little Easter eggs like that if you do actually read the dialogue. But at the end of the day, it's just a very idle, casual auto-battler. Get your guys different abilities, give them different weapons. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Domina, but very punishing. You're going to find that within the average run, you're probably going to be dead within 15 minutes, or maybe it just means I'm terrible at the game. This game's coming in at $14.99, and I thought, hey, I might like it. I like the art style. I like roguelikes. But at the end of the day, I was like, it's just too repetitive for me. The rooms and the enemies are fairly repetitive. You're going to be doing the same thing over and over. But most people on Steam really enjoyed it. But at the end of the day, there just wasn't enough content in there for me. So this one was a refund for me. Hope you guys found that useful. If you want more reviews, please like and subscribe. Mr. G out.